and action. Can I help you? All right, we're just over halfway done. Whoa. Yeah, careful, it's not braced on that side. James, the scoop building, pro tip. Not gonna work. Not worth it. I'm not putting this on in a while. Mm -hmm. It's stiff. Um, okay, so we're going to cut the two by fours for the floor, lay them out, put them on the ground, nail it together so it's going to be one big section. And we can do the layout. And then I have a bunch of other cuts to make, like uh, five. Find time for my pencil to break. One of the reasons I chose it to be 8 by 12 is because plywood is 4 by 8. So it's less cuts and it's going to work better. We're also doing 8 foot walls. So it's also just the overall better use of material. Less waste. Except for the roof part. I need a new blade. Okay, so now we're going to lay it out, and this is an important thing that a lot of people don't know. So we're going to go 16 inches on center with our floor joists, which are 2 by 4 It's only 8 feet, and it's only really supporting chickens. Okay, so we're laying out basically the two long sides of the floor for the coop. So one thing to do when you do layout, if you want it to work with your sheeting, which is 4 feet by 8 feet, you can come a little closer here. So we're offsetting back three quarters of an inch so what that's going to do is the center of our sheet is going to line up on the center of this piece that comes through we'll show you how that works later just again less cuts and then you're just working with factory edges on material you purchased speeds things up and you get a better job james the scoop building pro tip actually framing framing tips and then you can do two together Mark them out, scribe them across, and then you're off to the races. All those years ago, they never fade away. And I remember your face. When you hit the ground, I can recall the time. Another thing to know about two by fours so they're supposed to be two this way by four this way however it's a lie and that's because they just make lumber smaller than they used to if you do rough saw materials it's much truer to a uh, actual two by four or two by six two by eight those are true sizes
Watch out, Bob. Can I help you? No. Okay, I just get my footing. Yeah. Just a little bit, a little bit like a bobsled track. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Well, good news is, looks like we're hitting our rando pads, although we're not square. But that's okay. <laughs> now what, babe? Uh, now we gotta make it higher. Isn't that a rocky song? I need to get it up, and then close to level, and then I can square it, and then cheat it. I gotta cut some more wood. Yeah. I got Dusty the rooster here. He's one of the roosters that we're saving. He's one of my favorite. He was the first one that was uh, hatched out here. And James and I have gotten we got the floor finished, framed and up. So we've got the uh, cement pavers down and then he used two by fours to lift the floor so that the chickens can have, or the roosters can have uh, some room to go underneath that will be dry and they can dust bathe. And then in the summer, it will provide some shade for them. <laughs> you wanna say hi to everybody, Dusty? Dusty is um, proving himself to be a little bit of a troublemaker, aren't you, buddy? Are you a little bit of a troublemaker? He's already trying to mount some poke ladies, so he's got a time is of the essence here to get this done for sure. And him and Rod are the two that we're going to save, and in the meantime, the other four roosters are going to live with these guys to keep them company for as long as they can handle it and until we find another option for the rest of the roosters wh whether it's giveaway or soup pot unfortunately but james has gone to get some uh plywood osb i think and we're gonna put the floor down he's gonna put some cross braces on first and then we'll put the floor down and then that should be it for today and we'll reconvene again tomorrow i guess Thanks for letting me hold you, buddy. You want to go back to eat? Yeah, you're a good wooski. Pop! You did some things. What a good girl. You're such a good girl. Okay, so I got some smaller gloves and I feel like OJ putting them on literally this one I can I still can't get it on it's like I I think those are my gloves yeah maybe mm -hmm. uh okay so I don't know if you can see can you see this yeah. you can cool all right so I squared this with the diagonal squared it with the diagonal and it was remarkably nice. close even after just hauling it in here um, so I'm just going to cheat a bit and do it with, uh, this sheet as well. Thank you. Uh, because the sheet is a factory and it should be really true to square. And my dimensions are four by eight. So I should just all line up. Hopefully that makes sense. But if it's a little bit out, it's not the end of the world. Cause it is just for roosters. What? 
Anyways, I want to show you this trick about the layout. So this lines up. I'm just going to get the sheet in place and tack it. Close where it needs to go. If you want to cheat with the sheet like this to square it up, just start in the one corner, pack it, and then do the short side as well. And you just flush up your factory edge with the edge of the framing. You do the same on the other corner, so you have the leverage of the long sheet. To move the side of it. Be pretty nice to the whole way there, and you can see on this edge, I'm in the center of that two by four. So I didn't have to cut anything. So that goes back to the layout. So you're better off to work with factory stuff. Unless you want to rip stuff on table saws and haul out all these things. I have had factory sheets out in the past. So it's worth checking them to make sure they're good. I know these are good because we worked with it with the greenhouse for the form work. But anyways. Relay out those to make sure they're good, nail it off, and then we're going to just need a total of three sheets for this. All right, so we've got floor on, nailed, added some cross bracing. Can't really see it very well from here, but there's some cross bracing I added in just to stabilize it from racking. And got the line snap, double checked it for square, re-squared it. I had to adjust it a little bit, um, 3 16 of an inch out of square, which is not terrible. But if you take the time to make stuff true plumb level square everything just fits together better so i also have the plates pre-cut already because the dimensions are 8 by 12 it's pretty easy back wall laid out but always recommend just putting your plates in place make sure everything fits according to the lines you've got then you're not building a wall the wrong size and having to modify it so we're gonna do that quick make sure they're Make sure that they are 
all where I want them to be and uh, yeah and then I still have to lay out the window location and the door location We have the plates laid out. X marks his stud. And then we have C for cripple, O for jack. Cripple is also referred to as a king stud in some places. And then our window opening, rough opening, 60 by 24 and 5 eighths. And then we also have corners. That means corner there, so this will be down when we frame it. What we're doing is a platform frame. So I'll take the plates off the table, the floor, I guess, and uh, lay all the studs down, similar to how I did it, did the floor. And then we can actually tack this down square and feed it. So that's what we're going to get doing here next. I'm going to start on the back wall over here and then stand that one. And then I'll have the sidewalls, which I'll probably just build and stand up and get out of the way. And those will go in close to last. So this last last wall over here is gonna be the tricky one to, to get in. I might have to flip it off the table and then flip it back on. Framed, sheeted, this building paper, house wrap, but this is also gonna help keep the draft down. Protect the OSB and actually motivate me to get the exterior cladding on later on this summer probably. Once we mill up some wood with the mill that's behind us, uh, probably just do a board and batten style. Anyways, let's see if I've got the uh, oomph to lift this by myself. Michelle's getting her hair cut, so. She's not helping me right now. Give it a shot.